I think the whole mess started a year before my mom died. My son had given me a DVD about the law of attraction. Everything had gone wrong in my life. A failed marriage, a failed business, bankruptcy, my current romantic relationship on the rocks, not being able to find a suitable job, struggling to make ends meet, the cold, dismal skies of Ohio winters, my longtime struggle with depression. I was desperately looking for hope, something to cling to. I watched as Alzheimer's took over my mother. It was so emotionally draining to be around her. We were losing her a little more every day. I was struggling just to keep myself together. I became so overwhelmed with my circumstances. I felt like my life force had drained away. I took that DVD and watched it day after day. I did my best to implement its philosophy. I wanted desperately to attract abundance, love, peace, and joy. I did my best to focus on the good things in my life and be thankful for them. I believed, in quiet desperation, that the law of attraction would get my life on track. A few years back, I met a guy at a dance club. I went to have fun. I ended up meeting a charming sociopath. As I look back and wonder, are most sociopaths charming? My guess is yes, because they sure have a way of getting people to do the most unbelievable things. My heart skipped a beat when I saw him walk in. There was something charismatic and mysterious about him. In a way, this was my fault. My life had gone to crap, and I needed some hope that things would get better. I'm embarrassed now when I think of how easily I fell for his charade. You know those cheesy, predictable lines? Wow. Heaven must be missing an angel because here you are. Are you religious? Because you're the answer to my prayers. Do you know what my shirt is made of? Boyfriend material. You get it. You've either heard them or used them. I needed to believe the fairy tale. The 